Well, I did cover this in my other video, but I'll just mention it again. The fact that the new uh, Thor film, this Illuminati film out of uh, Disney, which is owned by, which obviously owns Marvel, put it that way. Uh, the Illuminati Thor film is filled with uh, LGBTQ queer uh, ideology and themes. It says here on this article on Digital Spy, says uh, in the article, I'll just read it. Thor Love and Thunder fans react to over-exaggerated queerness of the movie. And it was posted on July 9th, 2022. So the film is overwhelmingly filled with LGBT ideology, over-exaggerated, basically, they're, they're putting it. So let's uh, check out what the article says. It says in the article, uh, Thor Love and Thunder fans are not happy with stars Natalie Portman and Tika Watari, as they believe, to, uh, as they believe the over-exaggerated the film's queerness, calling it, quote, super gay, unquote. During a Q&A featuring what, I'm probably not saying his name right, I honestly don't care, who directed the film and stars as Kong Portman, who plays Jane Foster and Tessa Thompson, who plays uh, Val Karai, an audience member asked him how gay the film was going to be. In response, which was filmed and shared on social media, uh, Watadi pointed to Portman and who told the audience, a member, it was, quote, so gay, unquote. So, they admit the film is basically uh, LGBT propaganda, essentially, as, uh, as are most these Disney, these modern Disney films. Uh, the declaration was met with cheers from the crowd, which was reiterated by what Watadi, whatever, who, who yelled, quote, super gay, unquote, into his microphone, and joy, unquote, he said. However, some fans saw the film, saw the film, Felt like they had been duped into thinking that the film would include major LGBTQ plus representation, only to find that there was barely any. Uh, Valkyrie, who played played by Thompson, is confirmed to be bisexual in the film, with one scene showing her kissing a woman's hand, while another sees her open up about losing her girlfriend who died in the battle. And Korg, voiced and played by Watadi, uh, who also portrayed who, who was also portrayed as gay, the film sees him settle down and have a child with his male partner. Korg also reveals that he has two fathers and that his species procreates when two male Koranans join hands. So it just, just fills the brim with its LGBT themes and uh, this, this uh, ideology, basically. It says, and while this is a nice gesture, some believes there would be more, there, there would be more based on the actor's comments. Kind of, uh, quote, kind of blame that Natalie Portman and Tika Watadi both described Thor Love and Thunder as so gay and super gay, and then the movie was not gay at all, one person wrote on Twitter. Well, the film already has plenty of, of homosexual themes. It's just, you know, not, not as gay as they, they were hoping it would be. Uh, but Thor, uh, says, before the Thor screening last night, Natalie Portman called it so gay, devastated to report, and really, you won't believe it, that she lied, reporter Jack King tweeted. However, some fans argued that Love and Thunder was still the gayest Marvel movie ever compared to other movies in the MCU. Why well, I argue all of them are, are effeminate in some way, because you got these men, these adult males who are wearing these super tight, basically jumpsuits, essentially, these super tight, you know, yoga type suits. Uh, so I argue it all has lots of effeminacy, effeminate uh, imagery in it, but it's just funny how the fans are not oppressed with the film not being gay enough, even though it already has several uh, homosexual characters. So I just find that kind of ironic, but this is the kind of stuff that comes out of Illuminati uh, Hollywood and Illuminati Disney. So what do you expect? Uh, like Proverbs, Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, you know, train up a child in the way that he should go. Well, like I said, Satan knows that verse too. And this is one way. He, this is one way he's putting that his knowledge of that verse into action. So, anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.